Hello everybody, ni hao, hello, we get here, dame kem cho, uh, hola, como estas? How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. I'm going to need a little help from the crowd tonight. By a raise of hands, how many people in this crowd are fluent or in the process of becoming fluent in a language other than English? Wow, that's... <laughs> For all the hands I see in the crowd tonight, it's safe to say that the people in this crowd are very diverse and communicate in different and interesting ways. After all, language at its core is just communication. Um, a little bit of... Oh, let me skip through this. <laughs> a little bit about me. I became very interested in languages around the age of 9 or 10. I remember in my class, uh, I remember my classmates would become perplexed when I would switch languages mid-sentence or talk to my mom, my dad, and my brother in different languages. Uh, for me, it was quite common. In India, uh, there's 22 official languages, many with common mutability and understanding. It helped that my parents had such an interesting past. They moved from India to Germany and to the U.S., learning a total of five languages that we use in our household. Those languages are English, German, Hindi, Marathi, and Gujarati. Uh, frequent trips to Germany and India helped me better understand both language and culture of those beautiful places. I had become hooked from that moment on. Languages constantly amazed me, and I began to learn new languages. Different places that my parents had been to. Um, any language I tried to learn, whether it be Mandarin, Spanish, or French, I use the same method. I would learn the ten most common verbs, nouns, and adjectives, and I found myself saying so much by learning just so little. It soon became evident that I did not need to know every uh, word, every grammar rule, but I just needed to give it a shot, even though I would make a complete fool out of myself when talking to a native. Uh, they'd be friendly enough to help me. They'd say, conjugate this verb like this, or uh, pronounce the tone on this word. As you, could take, as you can see in this graph, uh, you do not need to know every word to be able to speak a language. You only need to know about a thousand words to be 85% fluent in a language. And 3,000 words gives you the whole 98% spectrum. I would often share uh, my interests about languages to my peers, and I'd get the same reply. Why should I learn? Well, the answer became quite clear. There were four main reasons of learning a language. The first being economic and financial endeavors, or in simpler terms, making money. Uh, the second being understanding different cultures, having a heightened sense of uh, knowing, about, knowing what different cultures are about. Uh, the third being an enrichment of personality, and the last and one of the most compelling reasons, in my opinion, an expansion in mental capacities. A quote by Nelson Mandela sums it up quite nicely. It goes something like, if you talk to a man in his, uh, in his second language, it goes to his head. But if you talk to a man in his native language, it goes to his heart. And that was really one of the biggest motives of learning languages for me. Um, According to a graph, uh, according to a study done by The Economist, it shows the different accumulated language bonuses of three different languages, German, French, and Spanish. Uh, it was really simple. Learning languages can add on to your payroll. It is estimated that learning Spanish is worth about $51,000, learning French is worth about $77,000, and learning German is worth a whopping $128,000. That can buy you a Lamborghini, help pay for college, or even a considerable retirement fund, if you're looking that far ahead. <laughs> in, addition, uh, in, in addition to earning lots of money from learning a language, you also have the potential to form connections around the world. Learning a language can help you make connections across the globe. An example is Arabic. Arabic is a widespread language which is spoken in over 22 countries throughout the Middle East and North Africa. Another popular language is Mandarin. Mandarin is so popular for its uh, wide speaker base with over one billion people across the world speaking it. Now, if there's so many speakers, you're bound to make a lot of connections in the world. 
These connections, the, these connections in the world uh, help one learn about different cultures and uh, they help people see from different perspectives and viewpoints that they would seem that would seem odd otherwise. Uh, this leads us to the topic of cultural diversity. Uh, culture is deeply rooted in any language, and learning a new language would open us up to different cultures. According to a 1989 study by Bamford and Mizuclawa, uh it shows that learning a new language, uh, learning a new language. People who learn a new language uh, develop more positive attitudes towards those of different cultures. Whoops. Uh, in addition to cultural diversity, learning a language also can help expand mental capacities. Uh, in a study done by York University in Toronto, Canada, shows students who learned a foreign language scored higher on standardized tests than those who did not, and also help reduce the chances of onset dementia or Alzheimer's disease. As you can see, stressing about the SAT right now, it gives me a little, it makes me a little more calm knowing that I have an extra step above people. Uh, <laughs> uh, Judith Kroll, a distinguished professor of psychology at Penn State, says that you can, you can learn several skills from just learning a language such as multitasking, uh, working on multiple projects, and managing other people. It's really interesting. Um, taking a look at the crowd tonight, a room full of distinct, oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, our, our world is changing around us. Uh, the theme for tonight's TED Talk is an essence of a changing world. Cultures across the globe are coming together and interacting with one another. Our economy is becoming global. Travel's never been much easier. Uh, it's really, it's really astounding what we've come to today. Um, I suggest each and every one of you to go home and try to learn a couple of new words in any language that intrigues you. After all, the limits of your language are the limits of your world. Thank you.